so far i have received many questions asking when am i releasing separate gen ai and agent ai course for those who wants to learn just that topic well i'm glad to announce that this course is now live on codebasics.io this course is perfect for those who have some programming background let's say you are a software engineer and you want to learn gen ai quickly without spending too much time then this course is ideal for you but let's say you want to become a full-fledged AI engineer or Gen AI engineer and you have patience to spend time in learning different modules such as math and statistics, statistical machine learning, deep learning, etc. in detail, then you should pursue our Gen AI bootcamp. Okay, so the bootcamp is a long term program that will go over all math concepts deep learning statistical learning python everything in detail so that bootcamp is for those people who want to become ai engineer or, or let's say gen ai engineer and have patience to learn all the modules in a comprehensive way but the course that we are launching today gen ai and agentic ai is perfect for those who have some knowledge on these fundamentals and who want to learn Gen AI and Agent AI quickly. Let me give you a content overview quickly. So I'm going to do that so that you get an idea on what is covered. The course contains a lot of business projects as well. So there is a lot of practical learning concepts, exercises, quizzes, a lot of coding as well. Okay, so we'll go over content overview now. Let me give you a quick content overview. We will begin with theoretical fundamentals where we'll talk about what is AI, ML, statistical, ML, deep learning, how these things are related. Now, if you know all these concepts, then you can skip this entire chapter. But if you don't know, then this will uh, help you refresh these fundamentals very quickly. We'll also talk about machine learning and deep learning fundamentals a bit more in detail where we'll cover things like what is regression, what is classification, supervised learning, unsupervised learning, and so on. Then in the third chapter, we will begin discussing the fundamentals of Gen AI and Agentic AI. Okay, what is Gen AI? What is the difference between Gen AI and traditional AI? What are agents? What is Agentic AI, right? So these are the terms that we will get a very good understanding on. And then uh, in the fourth chapter, we will go in depth for Gen AI, okay? So if you look at the entire curriculum, there are Gen AI chapters, so chapter four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then there are agentic AI chapters, so all these four chapters. So in Gen AI key concepts, you will obviously learn how LLMs work, context window, all those concepts like RAG, vector, database, and so on. Each of these chapters will have quiz and exercise so that you are practicing the concept that you are learning. And we have included also a chapter summary where you'll see this kind of nice PDF which you can download or print to or get a quick overview of the concept that you want to refer to. Let's say you're preparing for interviews or in general for your knowledge, you want to refer to these concepts and these PDFs will be extremely useful. In chapter five, we start discussing LangChain. LangChain is a popular framework that people use to build Gen AI applications. And here, we have used Grok, Olama, right? Olama is a way to run things locally. Uh, you can run local LLM. Then uh, we have discussed uh, the detailed fundamentals such as prompt templates, output parser, and so on. Then we immediately move to vector databases where we discuss ChromaDB. There are many other vector databases like Milverse and Quadrant and so on. Once you learn one vector database, learning others should be easier. And this is open source. So for your learning, uh, I think ChromaDB is a perfect uh, database that you can start with. In chapter seven and eight, we are building two different projects. So chapter seven contains a project which is a bit simpler, but chapter eight contains a detailed project where we have given a simulation of how these projects are executed in the industry. You start with um, scope of work document, uh, so let me just show you here by forwarding this. Uh, we have also discussed the technical architecture and so on. Okay, so see, and we used a Flipkart website where you build this kind of chatbot for Flipkart, where you ask a question and it will give you all the necessary information. Okay, uh, and we have created scope of work document where you mention project type line, the deliverable success criteria, and so on. So you are not only learning technical things, 
you get insight on to how projects are executed in the industry. This is how we execute projects even in my AI services company, Athletic Technologies. We create a scope. Uh, we discuss things about business stakeholder communication and so on. So you are learning tech things as well as some of the soft skills which are required to become a successful JNA engineer. Then in this project, we have covered semantic routers, streamlets, SQLite, database setup, all of those things. Okay, you can, you can look at the curriculum on your own as well. And then we move on to agentic AI. So what is agency? You know, building agents using Agno and Llama open source model, reasoning models and so on. We have also built a multi-model agent and we have talked about Google ADK, uh, OpenAI, agent development toolkit and so on. Then we discuss some of the architecture and protocol concepts right from MCP to A2A protocol and things like that. We have also built some code to use pre-built MCP servers and we have built our own MCP server as well. In the next chapter, we have discussed building multi-agent system, some design patterns, uh, things like that. And in chapter 12, we have discussed uh, something very important, which is how do you evaluate this system? Because it's pretty hard to evaluate GenAI and agent AI systems. And we have gone in depth uh, and covered safety and guardrails, operational metrics, some of the amazing, very industry relevant things we have discussed. And there is one more project which we are going to build um, so I'm working on it right now and it will be published soon. Maybe when you're watching this video or when you're buying this course, this project might be there. So just go ahead and, and look at that project. Then in chapter 14, we have talked about fine tuning, you know, right from LoRa, QLoRa, fine tuning Llama with Unsloth and so on. And all these chapters contains quizzes and exercise so that you can practice the concepts that you have learned. In chapter 15, we have covered ethics in Gen AI, which is super important, folks. Data privacy, compliance, you know, complying with the laws of the government is super important. And we have discussed all of that. And then we end, end the course with one final quiz. So this will be a lot of hands-on learning. You can see we have built three projects where you are practicing the concepts that you are learning. There are quizzes, exercises, and the explanations that you will see in this entire course are super easy to understand even uh, a person with like very little knowledge can get these concepts all right so that was the content overview all right if you have any questions then post in the comment box below